before I start, I'd like to ask how many of us don't know Tamil here? Yeah. Those who don't know Tamil, please raise your hands. Well, few then I'm kind of safe then up Tamil paste from Lakai Tuklama. Nandri, thank you. So I guess I'll be much more closer to you when I'll be able to talk in the language that I love. Tamil is the language that I love. Of course, Punjabi is my mother tongue. Thank you. Uh, there are two people who are going to do this presentation. Now, I'm going to talk about the stage. Thank you. I'm going to talk about the counselor. Thank you. Our work is correct. I'm going to play a pause. I'm going to play a pause. I'm going to play a pause. So manage with me. Right? So, thank you. I'll have the 3M. 3M back on screen. So, uh, should I ask you how many of us know who 3M is, is what 3M is? Right? Since we have a lot of this in terms of, I'll tell you, 3M is one of the world's largest conglomerate. Right? We all know. We also know that it is a $30 billion company with close to about 88,000 employees. So probably, you know, you can get a degree in the college, you can get a degree in the college, you might get. So you need to know this. But what you also need to know is, most of us know is, this is one of the companies that has over 1 lakh patents in this name. Do we know that? Right. We need to clap for a company that has given over 1 lakh innovations to the world. Of course, how many of us we are using? That's irrelevant here, but somebody is taking that effort, right? So 3M is my mantra. 3M is my mantra where I'm going to speak about with you for a little time. But it's not about the Minnesota Mining Manufacturing Company. It's about the 3M that you need to have with you. It's a 3M that I have with me. First of all, M for Mule, right? He's given you? I can't do anything for that. Our good to the Ungit, all of our king, engineering college, one thing, a candipa mulet and the under king, Ilan and the arts and science college in the finger. Right? So you've given, God has given you mind. Are you with me? So those who don't have mind can keep quiet, others who have mind can say yes. I didn't hear, I think only 10% of us have a mind here. So those who have mind can say yes. Lovely. So what's the second M? Second M is again. Mooladhanam. For every entrepreneur, the money, right? You need money. Again, I can't help you here, honestly. No. <laughs> I'm not a venture capitalist. I'm not a VC, as I said. That Mooladhanam, the money that you guys need to go out and make is for you to make. You find a way out. I'm not here to speak about that also. I'm probably one of the few equipped speakers here who's not uh, from a it's Sujit Mari Infosys Valasiro Rilla, Illa Sar and Punala Sifil and the Vandu Pesir Kare. I'm not from a multinational company. I run a company with limited number of employees, but I run it passionately. I can relate to what I'm speaking to you now, right? So I've told you one, Mulai. Second is money, that's Muladhanam, your capital that we need. But I'm going to speak more about the third M, which is what I know for over 150 plus training programs. And the reason that Mr. Siva, thank you so much for inviting me here and Mr. Andutambi for inviting me here for such a lovely audience is what you have with you, what you can work on, what you can try and build on. I'm going to work on something called Muyarchi. Right? We have motivation within us. Right? So that is something that I can try and mold to you. In the next 15 or 20 minutes that I've been given, I will try to see if I can make a difference. It's just about one person. I see about 2,000 plus students here. Right? Probably guys there on the state, left side, let's not worry about them. Right? They are not worried about the 3M. They don't want to make a difference or innovation in their lives or to the people that we are going to make a difference in. We'll be worried about what I want to do. Right? You're going to be worried about what you want to do. Right? So look at those 3Ms in your life. Muyarchi. Right? So I'm going to play a small video. Tanigavil is just going to help me play a little video. And this is... Again, there is no innovation in this. Right, okay. Forget about the text down there. We just try to make it as said. Tanigalev has done a good job of getting it on screen. Right? Uh, the tortoise and the rabbit story. Do I need to tell you? You don't need to. Ah, Okay. 
என்ன நடந்தது பட் ஸ்டில் லெட்ஸ் சி ஹேவிங் கம் ஹியர் அண்ட் ஐ ஹேவ் டு பிளே சம்திங் ஆன் ஸ்கிரீன் ஐ தாட் ஓகே லெட் மீ புட் அ ஸ்மால் வீடியோ ஃபார் யூ அலாஸ் தனிக்கு வேல் டு பிளே இட் நவ் Once upon a time, a turtle and a rabbit had an argument about who was faster. They decided to settle the argument with a race. The turtle and the rabbit both agreed on a route and started off the race. The rabbit shot ahead and ran briskly for some time. Then, seeing he was far ahead of the turtle, He thought he'd sit under a tree for some time and relax before continuing the race. He sat under the tree and soon fell asleep. The turtle plodding on overtook him and soon finished the race, emerging as the undisputed champ. The rabbit woke up and realized that he'd lost the race. The moral of the story is that slow and steady wins the race. Lovely. Idhe ellarku therinjukada. Yeah. So today we are all talking about fast. Gone are the days when Sunil Gavaskar used to stand in the crease and you know keep knocking and knocking and knocking alone to play for 5 days he'll play. Inni kandamarla kadiyadu. You need a Virat Kohli, you need a Glenn Maxwell, right? Before ipola inna evlo expectation theriyuma? Glenn Maxwell vandu nalla adipanga theriyo. Dhoni for instance, Dhoni la arme adiparu. Right? எங்களுக்கெல்லாம் ஆசை என்னன்னா தோனி வந்து பிச்சுக்கு வரத்துக்கு முன்னாலேயே அந்த வருவாரு அப்பயே சிக்ஸ் அடிக்க ஆரம்பிச்சிடும் அப்பதான் வந்து தோனி எங்களுக்கு தனிக்கவேலை அந்த திரும்பி பிளே பண்ணுங்க The rabbit was disappointed at losing the race and he did some thinking. He realized that he'd lost the race only because he had been overconfident, careless and lax. If he had not taken things for granted, there's no way the turtle could have beaten him. So, he challenged the turtle to another race. The turtle agreed. This time the rabbit went all out and ran without stopping from start to finish. He won by several miles. The moral of the story? Fast and consistent will always beat the slow and steady. It's good to be slow and steady, but it's better to be fast and reliable. Right. So this story is also nothing different. Somebody who's just changed the rule of the game. right ipl also just they changed the rule of the game and they made sure the batsmen keep hitting sixers right so we are also looking at what let me change the rule of the game and i become fast and i will win this race yaar yaar race win panna vena nu nenikringa i don't think anybody is going to raise your hand and say no i don't want to win a race right race is not literally speaking in the race there but in the life race in the job race in the turnover race in the profits race everything there's a race ipo kalyana pattathukku race irukku right So there is a situation where we all want to win it right so we'll go back to the story we've defined the rabbit is in a very big hurry but i'll tell you what all of you could close your eyes right just quickly close your eyes and imagine yourself as one of the characters in the story in the kadaila irukra oru kada paathram aamaya moyala who are you choose right close your eyes and select it in your mind you've told right now you can open your eyes and now the character that you have not chosen i am going to call it innovation right so if you are a rabbit the tortoise is a innovation if you've selected the tortoise the rabbit is a innovation we'll come back to the other part of the story and here the turtle did some thinking this time and realized that there's no way he can beat the rabbit in a race the way it was currently formatted He thought for a while and then challenged the rabbit to another race but on a slightly different route. The rabbit agreed. The turtle and rabbit started off. In keeping with his self-made commitment to be consistently fast, the rabbit took off and ran at top speed. 
until he came to a broad river. The finishing line was a couple of kilometers on the other side of the river. The rabbit sat there, wondering what to do. In the meantime, the turtle trundled along, got into the river, swam to the opposite bank, continued walking, and finished the race. The moral of the story? First, identify your core competency and then change the playing field to suit your core competency. Many a times when we realized or we think that the exam final semester exam right? Or we've just kind of got the job and then we realize that there's somebody smart, or if you take a businessman like me. I realized that, you know, the tender that I was posting, the rules of the tenders have been changed. So somebody else is smart enough to change the rule of the game. And where are you standing? Standing there. What do you call that? I, do you call it innovation? But that, that's about what Mr. Virinder said, Jugad, right? The situation is people change the rule of the game. Are you ready for that rule of the game? Are you ready for that? That's a question that you need to ask when you walk out of this institution, right? Because believe me, every day with technology, with with the information that is flowing, the rules of the game keep changing. Today you join a college saying that this is what I'm going to do after three years. You never know what that particular thing is relevant or not, right? So we'll come to the last part of this particular small video and then I'll conclude on why this video is there on screen for you. The story still hasn't ended. The turtle and rabbit by this time had become pretty good friends and they did some thinking together. Both realized that the last race could have been run much better. So, the turtle and rabbit decided to do the last race again, but to run as a team this time. They started off, and this time, the rabbit carried the turtle till the riverbank. There, the turtle took over and swam across with the rabbit on his back. On the opposite bank, the rabbit again carried the turtle, and they reached the finishing line together. Both the turtle and rabbit felt a greater sense of satisfaction than they'd felt earlier. The moral of the story? It's good to be individually brilliant and to have strong core competencies. But unless you're able to work in a team and harness each other's core competencies, you'll always perform below par because there will always be situations at which you'll do poorly and someone else does well. Teamwork is mainly about situational leadership, letting the person with the relevant core competency for a situation take leadership. And that is the end of the story. Thank you. Kandipa kai tatla, ketu vangra, yana pasi edigadu, na mudichitama kai tatvingla enik teriyadu. Ilya, all of us are hungry, yes. Uh, but then, uh, believe me, uh, one, one small thing I would like to share if I am standing here, if Sujit, my friend, is there, that if we are able to come here and stand in front of you and speak, if I tell you, probably, you know, four or five of you might just come, but the rest of us might have that fear. The reason that we are able to stand here and speak is because we've been there on that side of the chair, the stadium, many often heard people speak, right? So we have to applaud and encourage people who come here because tomorrow you're going to be here. That's my tip, small tip for you. So here it is. So, how many of you thought that you are the rabbit? Can you raise your hands? Wow, very, very few. So, here, very few. Okay. Who were the uh, tortoise? Who were the tortoise? Oh my God. <laughs> so, there, there, I think what? We are all smart people, right? But tell me what? Do you know that, realize that, you know, even though you've chosen rabbit or the tortoise, doesn't matter. At the end of it, if you're able to collaborate, innovation was the other partner for you, right? If you're a rabbit, your partner was innovation. If you're a tortoise, your partner was innovation. If you take these circumstances in front of you, emb embrace innovation. Now, as I said, I'm not going to tell you what innovation is. Because when I started my business, I was all of 14 years old. All I needed to do was make sure that I make some money for my family. Right? This is about 30 years of business. I'm 43 now. 30 years of business that I'm doing. My company is about 27 years now. All I've seen is every day I need to be innovating every day to stay in the business. If you don't be relevant, if you don't be relevant, if you don't offer something new to your clients, you can either be an entrepreneur or doing a job, right? There are very few people who say, I'm going on a holiday for life. 
right you may have some might some might say lovely your parents are good enough to take but you have to work for your every day you have to look at a future you're going to think about what i'm going to be there after 5 years 10 years but you need to innovate either for your business or the or for the company that you work as an employee also you have to innovate as an entrepreneur also you have to innovate so the, my take back for you today is learned speakers have come before me right you heard them take notes there are going to be more speakers after me take notes as i said i am not going to give you tips to say this is how you can invent because 2000 of us it's like not like your horoscope where you know aries means for another 1 billion people this is your horoscope innovation does not go like that you need to identify what is that you have in you and next look at what is that the world needs right mr narayanan spoke about uber and we have the dosa king auto anadurai innovation right how many of us know anadurai the guy in the auto right that's an innovation he is making money out of that he is standing in stage and talking about it. so you don't need to think about you know creating an uber creating an ola or creating a flipkart no think about what you can do in your own daily life and move ahead before i conclude i have about 3 odd minutes left for my 20 minutes of time coming back to the kind of work that we do your relevancy is just for today when we started in 1990 internet was wasn't even there today you press a button and you know what is relevant today right and probably tomorrow you don't even know you don't even need to press a button your mind thinks and you might have an app i'm sure there are lots and lots of app developers in this group you will bring lot of knowledge you'll bring lot of laurels to the country i see a lot of bright heads in this particular group but whether you identify that you have it with you is for you to realize that you can be a sleeper just awaking at a time that somebody else is clapping or awaking at a time that somebody has come up with an innovation and say oh, oh super ah irukpa adha da na pannano right how many of us think you know oh ipatiya purusa onnu pannirukanga adha nama panna nama panna sambarikalam but unfortunately they are already first mover they've all moved on by the time you invest money get your money in start thing adu mudichu and the kadhai mudichu finish and then you are left to i am a startup etna varshama 10 varshama startup i'm coming with a new idea etna varshama 10 years i'm coming with a new idea when do you do so if you want to be relevant in the industry today you have to be the first mover i'm going to ask tanigavel uh, to play the last small bit video there this video tells you thunga de thambi thunga de innikilla thalaiyar eppo paadi poittaaru 2017 la irukom somberi endra per vaangade right so if at all there have been losers abul kalam very nicely said with uh, without your involvement without your involvement you will never succeed but with your involvement you will never fail it's about lunch time i'd like to thank uh, the ict academy and of course mr prakash for the opportunity i will be glad if i just about made 1% of you know inward thinking in you guys and made you think that ennalo mudiyum na edukku vandu anga paakna avlo dure edukku paakna look at within yourself you have it within you if you don't look inside you don't have the ability to look outside thank you so much for giving that patient hearing I'm so thankful to the organization for calling me here and giving the opportunity. Thank you.